Hey, 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 me again. In this video, I want to review the signs that I teach during my show, You Have Changed My Life. So first, we learn the signs for yes and no. The first sign, yes, is a fist with your thumb in the front and you shake it up and down like you're nodding your head. The second, my favorite, is no. <laughs> Shut it down. So you take your first two fingers and your thumb and you close them together like this. So, review that as yes and no. Instead of verbally answering you, you can ask your students to sign their answer. That way, you keep the classroom quiet and in control, all while identifying who needs additional help and who's ready to move on. For example, in your math class, you finish teaching a topic and you say, are we ready to move on? That way, you can quickly identify which students need help, and if you give an assignment to the ones that are ready to move on, you keep control of your class. Now, we also learned about how your students can use sign language when they raise their hands in a way that will help you prioritize their needs. And also, though, make students think critically before they do raise their hands. So, let's review the four different ways your students can raise their hands using sign language. The first one is point of interest. Place your hands like this, like you're pointing up to the sky. This shows you that your student has something relevant to say about the current topic that you're talking about, point of interest. The second one is moving your finger up and down like this. In sign language, that's actually a sign for question or question mark. If your student raises her hand like this, then you know that they have a question about the current topic that you're talking about. The third sign is the sign for request or I need your help. So in sign language, this is the sign for help. But let's lose this other hand and just have your students raise their hand in the thumbs up position. This means that they need your help or asking you to come over to their desk for a question. And the last one, which is my favorite, <laughs> is the sign for toilet. <laughs> so put your thumb between your pointer finger and your middle finger, which is this is also the sign for T in sign language, and shake it back and forth. It's the sign for toilet. So imagine. When your students ask you to use the restroom with their hand sign, you can give them permission by either saying yes or no without breaking up the flow of the class. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope this was a helpful review. Always feel free to email me your questions or your comments at info at signingthesong.com. But even better, if you have any sign language classroom video tutorial requests, let me know any words or, or phrases that you think would be great for the classroom. And guess what? If you choose yours, you and your students can get recognized. Sound good? All right, see you later.